Hello everyone, uh, just a bit of an update really for this week. Obviously last weekend we had, just had a bit of fun with the, uh, the caddy, uh, the caddy hearse, took that along. So this week we've just been back to normal actually working on cars in the workshop and all that sort of stuff. So let's uh, head in the workshop, I'll turn the camera around and uh, yeah, just show you some of the stuff we've been doing. All right, so here's our little uh, JDM project, which we, um, we just got a set of wheels, the new tires. We're gonna have to put some flares on I think. That, so you can see it a bit better. But um, yeah, we made sure it was all running and everything. So we probably three or four weeks, I reckon we're gonna go for Rego. We've got a couple of little things up on the windscreen and stuff. Now this is a new project to the shop. The 55 has now gone to paint, so it's off. So this is, a, I think it's a 42 Chevy Coupe U. Um, customer has had it for a while. It got, it got the chassis built. Um, locally a few years ago. He's been doing little bits and pieces but it's sort of gotten to the point where he's out of time and has asked us to now complete the project. You can see it's got a fuel injected uh, 5 litre Holden motor um, with a 4 speed automatic gearbox. Uh, Jag front, at, uh, I can't remember, I think it's a Borg Warner style rear end with uh, leaf springs. So we're going to, from this stage, take it to completion so obviously um, we've got to fabricate a firewall and all that sort of stuff first um, we're gonna have to recess we're gonna do a cutout so you can actually still get to the distributor and a few things like that steering column and then we'll start putting all the body on it we're gonna have to wire it a whole lot so that will be a, a pretty big project but uh, you should start seeing us to work on that in the next two to three weeks um, so that's that one the big Buick so we have the like the airbag system, everything is now all in. These are the wheels and tires we're gonna to have to put on it for registration purposes. Um, they are now on, we've got so the ride height is all set. I've done a couple little minor jobs, so I've got new tie rods, new adjusters, uh, sway bar bushes, um, rocker cover gaskets, a few just jobs like that that we're gonna to have to do. And then um, it, it will go for registration. I think it's going to be about four or five weeks. I think by the time we do paperwork and wait for all the applications to go through the uh, licensing authorities. Craig this week spent most of the week on the, uh, the little 29 Plymouth Roadster. So basically it is all wired now. Uh, you can see here, I mean obviously you can't see the wiring, it's all hidden, uh, well reasonably hidden, but we've got it all wired. Everything's working. I think the only thing we're going to just get the speedo. There was a couple of little minor jobs uh, and that sort of thing. So we thought, right, it's all done. Everything, it starts and runs and stops and everything, you know, moves back and forward. So we thought, oh, we'll go for a little test drive. There's a hose hanging down. What's that? Uh, fuel tank breeze or fuel tank breeze. Like, just went around, go around the block. So Craig was sitting there idling yesterday, thinking, "All right, this is all good." And then um, you can see there that little new core plug that's actually the wrong one. Well, it blew blew a hole in the core plug, so that ruined the test drive. But you know, we now know that the temperature gauge works and the oil pressure gauge, everything like that works. We've got to set the speedo. We're waiting on the matching front wheels getting modified. We should have them back next week. Then it'll be cycle guards, those couple little wiring jobs, and then the customer's gonna take it home and he's gonna complete it himself, just paint it. But when it leaves here, it'll be running, driving, stop, steers, the door's on now. We had to change a few bits and pieces to make it compliant, you know, fuel lines and add support braces. You know, it's a bit of a budget build, but it'll be on the road, the customer will enjoy it, it'll be a lot of fun, and it won't owe him heaps of money. The Extend Cab pickup had an inspection by the, um, the local authority inspectors. All passed, no problems at all. So I think once Craig's finished the 29 Plymouth, we'll then pull this one apart and start the fun part of paint. All right, the Barracuda. I'm not sure if this thing hates me or what the deal is. 
So I had the, uh, the gearbox leak all fixed up. Now it doesn't drop anywhere near as much fluid as it was. The engineer signed off, so we, we, all that sort of stuff, the engineer had to look at, um, we have to have Australian headlights, seat belts, and flexible brake lines, and pass a noise test, so we had to change mufflers, make it a little bit quieter, got it down to 94 decibels, so that kept everyone happy. Got it all back together, and I thought, right, I, that only left me, I've got a little exhaust leak, got to connect the horn, and the speedo was bouncing around. I thought, ah, oh, look, you know, it won't be too bad. Pulled the speedo out, tested it, no. So I've now got the speedo at a local instrument place. They've tested it and said, it's no good. Can't be repaired. They're gonna look at converting it to electric. If not, I'm just gonna to have to spring and buy a brand new e-body speedo, which is 700 bucks, and it'll take about three weeks to get here. I think that's the way I'll have to go. So I think it'll be about another month before I get rego on the Barracuda. It is what it is. I'll just keep persevering and uh, maybe that'll give me a month to give it a polish. All right, we're doing a quick walk outside because an old friend has dropped in, sort of. So I'll tag the videos back, but about, oh, shoot, it's about a year now. I think Tony, we finished this truck for Tony. He's been driving it, no problems at all, really. Um, it's now got 8,000 kilometers on it. So all he wants us to do is just do a quick uh, run over it. Just make sure that it's, everything's all right. Oil, oil change and a few little bits and pieces. Give it a service, just make sure everything's right because it's going to do a bit of a road trip. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a little update we'll do is on the DeLorean. You can see here, we've actually lifted the body up and we have the motor and the gearbox sort of in our bolted together. We've got it sitting in there. At the moment, we think we're gonna come back a little bit more towards the back, just here. We're, we're just trying to work out muffler. We've worked out a transmat. We had to go get a shifter and cables because this is a six-speed Subaru gearbox that's been reversed. So obviously now we have to get cables made longer, but we had to have something to start with. Looks like the motor's gonna fit pretty well. We think we've worked out how to mount it, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we'll, uh, over the next few weeks, same thing as we sort of work through bits and pieces, we'll get the motor and gearbox mounted, work out the shifter, then start looking at clutch and all that sort of stuff. But for now, we're just chipping away at it. All right, thank you for joining us for a quick update on what's been going around in the shop. We'll have to try and film a little bit more stuff as we're doing it. We just got kind of busy this week and forgot to use the camera. If you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, hit notifications, all that stuff. There's a link in our bio, I think it is. You can go buy some merch, buy some t-shirts, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and yeah, hope you're enjoying the videos. See you next time.